welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, a lot of you have asked me about my skincare routine. I thought I'd start with sharing with you guys my morning skincare routine. Um, it seems like there's a lot to it. I don't necessarily do every bit of this every morning, um, especially if I'm in a rush, which majority of my life I am. And I have quite spot prone, combination skin it's oily in parts it's dry in parts i seem to have developed some sort of pregnancy eczema on my chin along with all the hormonal spots <laughs> but i find that the products that i use seem to just work so here we go now the first product that i always start the morning with is um Declio, and it's a micellar oil not water and it's a cleanser so it removes any dirt any impurities um, from deep down within the skin. So, I usually, oh, this isn't a good start, is it? It's not working. Oh, oops. So I usually do um, two pumps of this, and on a dry face, rub it all over, and just really work it into your skin. It feels a bit weird for people that don't use any sort of oil-based product, but trust me, it works. So you want to massage it really well, like right into problem areas. Quite nice actually to give your face a little bit of a massage as well at the same time. So you, I usually do that for about a minute. And then what you do is use a bit of water and you just wet your hands slightly and it should turn, hopefully you can see that, milky on your face. And then rinse. Okay, so once you've done that and had a dry off with your towel, um, I usually then move on to a face wash. Now I know we've just cleansed our face, but I just like to wash it with a foaming face wash as well. Now this is Elemis. I promise I am not sponsored by Elemis. You will think so the further on we get in this video. But this is the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. I had to check that because it used to be called something different. Um, and this is anti-aging. It just strips any dead skin off your face, um, which is a key cause of spots. So I just usually put just one pump. It's such a small amount, but you don't need any more than that. So this stuff lasts forever. It's not the cheapest of product, none of the Elemis ones are. I will put all the prices and link to the products down in, uh, in the description below. Um, but they are worth it. I always say to all my friends and all my family, invest in your skin because you will always have this face. You can buy whatever you want clothes wise, buy cheap clothes, but invest in your skin. And um, so, with a wet face, I just rub this in, foam it up, and rinse it off. So that is the cleansing part done. Okay, so the next part, toning. Um, I always use a toner morning and night. I just think it's great at closing your pores up and just making you feel a bit fresher and a bit cleaner. And um, so for this part, you will need two cotton wool pads and I use, again Elemis, the Elemis um, Balancing Lavender Toner, which is really good for skin that is prone to breakouts, like mine. So I just do two pumps onto each pad um, and then just rub them gently over your face, the whole of your face, because it all needs a clean. Um, I actually finish off at the end by doing my ears <laughs> i've always done it so i used to be a beauty therapist and we would always finish our facials by massaging the ears and it's a really important area of your body that you neglect you'll be surprised how dirty your ears get disgusting i know but it's true that's kind of my skin cleansed toned and um, so then we move on to priming now, my skin gets red and doesn't hold makeup that well if I don't use a primer because it's dry and oily. Makeup tends to either stick or slip off. So this is um, Sports FX 
cool down primer and recovery gel and it's brilliant to just ease any of that redness um, you've got going on on your face which I often do a pump of that and just rub that all over your face make sure you get it right under your eyes in every little nook and cranny which they're becoming more of on my face can't say I'm overly happy about it but you know it's what happens when you um, reach your 30s apparently um, and it's got quite a cooling effect this um, primer it feels quite quite tingly actually on your face when you use it for the first time okay so then i move on to eye cream this is actually a serum and um, and i didn't think i would like a serum quite as much but this is brilliant and it makes my eyes just feel like they've just been tightened up and um, so this is elemis again sorry i know i use a lot of elemis but i promise you it's great i trained in this when i was a beauty therapist so I feel like I've got a bit of weight behind me when I say it. So this stuff, it says on the bottle, two pumps. Do not use two pumps, use one, because it goes a heck of a long way. Um, so this is Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. Um, and it's great. So it looks like this. You can't really see it actually. Is that focusing? Probably not, because I'm terrible with technology but anyway it's like a clear serum consistency so i just rub that under my eyes using my ring finger because it's a sensitive area and you don't want to be dragging on that skin and a technique that i i don't know whether i was taught this when i was training as a beauty therapist or whether someone did this to me but you should go around your eyes just with light tapping movements it gets your blood flowing, it wakes your eyes up a little bit and that's how I just rub in the remainder of the serum. A little tip, I was always, I've always been told you should never, if you'd use an eye cream, you should never be able to actually see it on your finger. So once you've put it on your finger and rubbed it between your two fingers, there shouldn't be any visible product. It should just look sh like shiny. People overuse eye creams and that can have the opposite effect and make your eyes puffy, which we don't want. Now it is moisturiser. Um, now I am using Elvis again, um, but I've got another product that I want to show you um, that I sometimes use under a moisturiser if I'm using one without an SPF in it. So this is Elemis um, Pro Collagen Marine Cream um, and it is fabulous. It's expensive, um, which is the one downside of it. But again, this product lasts forever and it is clinically proven to reduce wrinkles. I'm not sponsored. They need to sponsor me, I think. <laughs> so you want about that much. Not a lot. Now this Pro Collagen Marine Cream, they brought this out not that long ago. It has SPF 30 in it. And they've needed to do that for such a long time. I'm so happy they've finally done it. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. I'm all about an SPF underneath your makeup. Um, okay, so I rub it in between my fingers and then just rub it into my skin in light circular motions. Simple as that, really. And this cream is really light, but you still feel really moisturized. If I don't use um, the Pro Collagen with the SPF in, I do have a couple of other Pro Collagen Marine Creams, one ultra rich one and one just normal one, which don't have the SPFs in. And if it's a really, really hot day, the sun is beating down, um, or I'm on holiday and I do my makeup and go out before the sun set, and I will use um, this little beauty for, from Bobbi Brown. Um, now this is SPF 50, which is brilliant, um, and it's a protective face base. So it's actually a primer as well as a sunscreen. I wouldn't then use this. Use uh, So I would either use Sports FX as my primer, or if it's hot, 
I'd use the Bobbi Brown one. Now, if I was not going out, not putting a scrap of makeup on, I would always use a face oil. Now, people have got a love-hate relationship with face oils. I love them. And if you have spotty skin, oils are good for oily, spotty skin. I love them. They just make your face feel amazing. Um, a lot of them have some amazing essential oils in them, which just smell divine. Um, so this is actually new from Elemis as well. Probably won't be as new when I'm posting this. Still be fairly new. Now this is Pro Collagen Marine Oil, um, and it's like a little bit of heaven in a little glass jar. Um, and it's amazing, it smells gorgeous, it's anti-aging, it's derived from seaweed. Um, which is sustainably sourced and hand-picked. Spots, we all get them. Well, actually, there's some lucky people out there who don't. But yeah, I'm prone to spots, um, especially when I'm hormonal, especially since I got pregnant. Okay, so my top tip, um, some might call it a hack, it's probably what everybody does, and it's and, and I'm just late to the party as always. Now this is from this is from America, so please don't try and find this product. But all it is is an antiseptic cream. Um, so Savlon would do the same thing. Literally, if I'm not going out or for the half an hour I've got before I put my makeup on, if I am going out. I just dot it on, I don't rub it in, so I leave it and then I'll go and have my breakfast. I just dot it onto any of the spotty areas that I have, mainly on my chin. It just brings the swelling down, it reduces inflammation, it's antiseptic, it numbs the area and it's moisturising. So if you've got a red swollen flaky spot which is my spots all the time then this kind of banishes all of that all at once it's a lot easier to apply makeup over the top just don't forget to rub it in before you leave the house <laughs> the penultimate thing that i do is then put a lip balm on and um, because number one if i'm putting makeup on it helps the lipstick or lip gloss or whatever to go on easier smooths your lips and number two, if I'm not going out, it just makes me feel a bit nicer. Little, little glossy lip. Now this one's from Bobbi Brown and I love this. This is a great day-to-day -day lip balm. Um, this colour is Bear Pops Popsicle. That's how you say it. And it's, it looks quite bright, but it's sheer. So as you can see, it's really quite sheer it's got a really nice shine to it it's super moisturizing um, and it's just a really nice product now it's not cheap so i have got an alternative for you if you don't want to spend a fortune this is 4.99 now this is a sports fx lip balm and it's raspberry rhubarb recovery lip balm and it looks like that again it's a similar kind of color to what this one goes so we're nearly at the end. There's only one more thing that I do. This is something I will carry in my handbag and um, spritz on my face throughout the day if I'm feeling a little bit dry, a little bit tight, or just need a bit of a pick-me-up. So this is, um, I can't say this word, cordially, I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is their Beauty Elixir. And um, I'll spray it just to show you, but it's, um, yeah, it's just a face mist that just pick, gives you a pickup. It helps set makeup, so you could spray it on after makeup. It's really nice, and just it just is so fresh and makes your skin feel great. So that is my morning skincare routine. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions? Please don't hesitate to comment below or anything you liked in this video or didn't like in this video, be nice. Also comment below, I will put everything I used in the description box. I shall be filming an evening one as well at some point. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to tune in for my next video. Lots of love.